bought this calculator at an estate sale for $2. Listed it the same day I bought it. Sold almost immediately. Listed it for $799 and took a best offer of $750. That is almost unbelievable, right? Uh, whoa, whoa, $235. Oh my goodness. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I've got 40 Bolos coming your way. Some of these are big money, big money Bolos. I'm telling you, huge. Um, some of them are just unexpected, but these are items that sold in April. These were sold by my Bolo Buddies Facebook members. So what I did is I posted a screenshot that looks like this that says share your best April bolo and then my Facebook people in my Facebook group put in the comments a screenshot and they tell me where they got it what they paid for it and what it sold for and then I bring a video to you guys. So the first item says I've got several big bolos. I'll go with the most recent sale. Bought it at the Goodwill, paid $6 and sold it for $229 in one day and it is this mid-century modern sunburst clock if you guys don't know about the sunburst clocks um they come in different styles but they can definitely go for big money this one is amazing so definitely be on the lookout and six bucks at the goodwill is a fantastic price unbelievable really Pick this up for free from Craigslist. Took a best offer of $195 plus $60 shipping. So it is a uh, Christmas Noah's Ark animated inflatable blow up draft tiger monkey decoration. That is super cool. Never seen that one before. The next item we have here is this vintage art deco ornate brass peacock uh, fireplace screen folding fan paid $25 for this at a thrift store. And it looks like it sold for $198.95. Shipping was $72.64. It was probably pretty big. And with sales tax, everything all in $290.60 for that. That is super cool. Bought this calculator at an estate sale for $2. Listed it the same day I bought it. Sold almost immediately. Listed it for $799 and took a best offer of 750. That is almost unbelievable right there. It is an Exactra, E-X-A-C-T-R-A. It's a vintage calculator, Texas Instruments, T-I or T-1-20, Star Wars Bubble Works. So yeah, that's definitely interesting. Uh, the next one says paid 15 and sold for 250. It does not say where they got it, but they are these boots, uh, the Duke ostrich roper boots. And the brand looks like it is T E C O V A S. I've never heard of that brand, but definitely a big money bolo there. $250. Wow. Local Goodwill yesterday started auction at $99 and 99 cents had a message within minutes asking to buy it for 200. But I let the bidding begin and it's at, as of now, at 102.50 with many watchers and views. Um, let's see. I have a screenshot. I'm going to put it right here of what it actually sold for. I want to say it was like three or 400. I think it went for over $300, but it'll be right here. The actual screenshot of the sold. So pick this up in an estate sale for $2, sold for full asking price in less than a week on Mercari. It is a willow tree and they are trees and they are retired. And it says Nativity White Christmas, 1999. Uh, whoa, whoa, $235. Oh my goodness. Wow, that one I am floored by. Um, I have sold some of the Willow Tree Nativity and they are definitely a bolo, but I did not have the trees. I wish I did. Wow, that is crazy. Got this for $9.50, sold in three hours. They are Goosebumps books. 
And these Goosebump books can definitely be a big money bolo. Um, some of them can go upwards $100, $200, depending on which books you have, how many you have. And a lot of times you can get these at thrift stores and garage sales really cheap. So definitely be on the lookout for Goosebumps. Paid $1.99 at Goodwill. Sold within a few days on eBay for full asking price. It is this vintage Joseph Originals Christmas Angel holding basket with candy canes. Sold for $74.99 uh, plus shipping. Purchased for $10 at a charity shop. Sold for $100 plus shipping. It's a Pottery Barn Cozy Teddy Faux Fur Throw. 60 by 80 and mushroom. All right. Starbucks to go ceramic tumbler local collection limited edition new mexico artist designed i got it for a christmas gift never liked it undersold it because i didn't know what it was at the time and guessed at the price since there was none listed for sale when i comped it only one sold new with the box for 120 mine wasn't with a box but in new condition it sat in my drafts for a few days then i listed it during that time, another was listed and sold for 130 Not in it as good of condition as mine. Sold mine for 80 in seven days, but I'll take it. It was free. So it's a Starbucks mug, and this is what it looks like. Paid $7 at a Goodwill Benz. Sold in seven days for $179 plus $14 shipping. Youth catcher's gear set under armor ages 12 through 16 with the helmet. Wow, I probably would have walked right past that. Estate sale, 50 cents, sold for full asking price. It is a Gillette Sensor Razor from 1993. These old stock razors that they don't make anymore that are retired, people will pay up for this. The, um, this one sold for $74.81. Got this at the bins for $1 and it sold for full asking price of $81. It is a Baldwin Denim. Denim, in. Denim, Kansas City, USA snapback hat. That is pretty cool. And it looks like it's wool. Purchased in a Barbie bag of Barbies and clothes at a local thrift. Usually I lot everything up, but decided to check individual items. Couldn't believe one little doll dress could sell for anything. Definitely checking doll clothing out now. So this is a vintage Barbie superstar era Red Hearts Loving You Dress Valentine's replacement. This one sold for $18.99 plus shipping. Yes, some Barbie clothes can be even hundreds of dollars for one outfit. If you can find the old um, black label tags, some of them, if you can identify the outfit and get the right keywords in your title, big money. Sony portable Blu-ray player purchased Saturday at a yard sale for $2, listed and sold for asking price in 30 minutes. You'll see higher comps, but this one was in poor condition. So it looks like it sold for $180, and it is a Sony portable Blu-ray DVD player with uh, case and remote and charger. Purchased for $0.50 cents at a yard sale, got full asking price on Mercari. It is a HC Triangle Amber Safety Valve glass canning jar with glass lid sold for $400. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It makes me wonder what it would have done on auction, <laughs> you know, because eBay auctions, sometimes these things go crazy. If you just get a couple people bidding on them, $400 on Mercari. Wow. But Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay are my main platforms. And if you guys aren't selling on those and you're interested, I do have links below that you can get a coupon and I get a coupon if you use that link to sign up. And List Perfectly, again, is what I used to cross post. If you uh, want to check out the demo video, I show you how I start on eBay and cross post over. And if you like that video and you're interested, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. So check out those other links down in the description. Okay, got this in an online Goodwill auction jewelry lot. Probably paid a dollar for it. Sold for full asking price of $99. It is a Harley Davidson skeleton key silver tone CZ necklace and earring set. How awesome is that? Goodwill auction. That's awesome. All right. This one comes from 
and I'm drawing a blank. I always forget his channel name. I think it's like Manny DX and a number. I'll pop it up right here. He is a Bolo Buddies member, so I am featuring his channel. All right, purchased at a family thrift center for $2, sold for 50 plus shipping, very unique item. Went back the next day and saw another one, also purchased for $2. It says States Quarter Program, 1999, 2008, box set, all 50 states, complete, new and wrap. That's what it looks like. This one also comes from Bolo Buddies member, Mindful Recycle, Terry. She got this Woody at an estate sale about a year ago, dropped the price a bit, and it sold. She paid $10 for it, and it sold for $249, buyer paid shipping. So it is new old stock. Um, NOS is a great thing you can put in the title. A lot of people search that. But anytime you can find toys that are in the original box, definitely a good pickup, especially at $10. That is fantastic. And Terry has an amazing channel. Uh, definitely check her out and sub her up. Bought a set of ashtrays for $2 at a yard sale. The bigger sold instantly for 50. And there was a smaller one that I took an offer for 20. So vintage Edith Heath ceramics ashtrays. Who know that? Who knew about that? <laughs> can't talk. Sorry, guys. Ashtrays are bolo, I guess. Check them out. Ladies at Doc Martens, discontinued color, paid two at a yard sale, sold for 85 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace to a very happy buyer. So yeah, nice color of red. My favorite for the month, paid 20 at an antique mall, sold in two to three days for full asking. Oh, I love this. Vintage Grumbacher Soft Pastels. Uh, yeah, look how cool this is. In the original case, I can't tell if they're used or not, but $289.99. Amazing. Paid $4 at the Goodwill. Thought it looked cool. Ended up being a feminist artist. No comps. Sat on eBay for a while and sold quick on Mercari. Again, another reason to cross post. Some things, I doubt this is, but some things are flooded on eBay. You put them on Mercari and bam. Mercari has a thing where, um, and eBay does too, but I think it's easier on Mercari to follow um certain things. So let's say I wanted to follow example, vintage cross stitch kits. I could put that in and anytime vintage cross stitch kits come up for sale. When I look at the app, there's a whole section I can go to and it's just going to show me new cross stitch kits that are vintage. So somebody may have been had Kiki, K-I-K-I -K -I, as a keyword and this popped up and they bought it. So um, I think Mercari is great for that. And it sold for $132 plus shipping. Picked up this We Work mugs at Goodwill for $2.99 a piece. Took a chance that the popularity of the We Crashed series would spark interest. I was shocked at the few comps and grabbed them. Took about two weeks, but sold at full asking price plus shipping. So We Work Always Do What You Love set of two coffee mugs. Sold for $60 plus shipping. Paid $3.99, never heard of this brand, but they were my daughter's size and very cute and definitely well-made. I looked at comps and decided to sell. Sold for full asking price within two days. Okay, I don't see where she got it, but $3.99. And they are uh, Salvatore, uh, I know this one, Ferragamo. I think I said it right. I think Donatella Bottolino is selling these over on her uh, YouTube channel right now. You guys, if you're not following Donatella Bottolino, definitely go sub her up. She wholesales stuff out to resellers um, from her YouTube channel. Uh, these shoes sold for $190. And I can't tell if it, I'm guessing the buyer paid shipping. Orvis Fishing Reel paid $50 and sold it for $250 in less than 24 hours. Check that out. That is awesome. Just purchased this yesterday for a dollar at an estate yard sale. I accidentally stumbled upon it. Paid a dollar each for two. Only listed one because I have to clean the other. One of my quicker flips to date. All right, what is this thing? Chrysler Town & Country Chrome OEM Center Cap. Sold it for $55. Awesome. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, um, Mom. Mom Knows Treasures. That is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. She purchased three pairs of True Religion jeans and shorts from a Tuesday night YouTube auction 
Kaneko Treasures and Cali Reseller Lewis for 25. So had about $8.33 into these. Sold within a week on Posh for best offer of $60 and buyer paid shipping. She had them listed for 85. The next one comes from Ozark Mountain Reseller. I'm going to put the whole channel name right here. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Definitely check her out. It says, I bought this at an auction for $5. It sold in two weeks for $35. It is a fan forced heater thermostat. And it looks like it's new old stock. And she sold it for $35 plus shipping. She also found these silver jeans at a garage sale for three bucks and sold in two days for $25.99. So silver is, um, from what I understand, a pretty solid find. If you can pick them up cheap, they sell at a decent price. Um, I don't sell clothing much anymore, but um, I have heard that from other channels. This one comes from Flippin' It Good, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. This is his channel. He does a lot of retail arbitrage, but he also um, buys at thrift stores, estate sales, and uh, what is the newest thing he's doing? Oh, Lost Cargo. Crazy, right? He's got some videos on that. I found this set at a yard sale. It came in a box full of toys. I paid five for the whole box. I am less than a dollar in for these. I took an offer of 40 plus shipping. They are Disney Pixar Toy Story green alien figures, great as cake toppers. So anytime you have little mini figures like this, cake topper is a great thing to put in the title because a lot of times parents are wanting to decorate their own cakes and they will look for mini figures on eBay. So definitely consider putting that in your title. Here's a nice bolo picked up for a dollar at a local church thrift on Saturday, listed on Sunday, sold on Mercari for full asking price of 139 plus shipping on Wednesday. My rule of thumb for board games is if the guys from Big Bang Theory would play it, pick it up. All right. Conquest of the Empire, 1984, Milton Bradley, Roman Caesar board game, 100% complete, sold for $139 on Mercari. All right. These were purchased at a thrift store for $8 total. Both sold in less than a week to different buyers by sending offers to watchers. This one comes from MSG Treasures. And he is a Bolo Buddies member. This is his YouTube channel. He is a big money Bolo finder. Go check him out. Um, these are machinist tools. And you can see both of them right here. One sold for $75 and the other sold for $109.99. This one also comes from um, Bolo Buddies member. I already talked about his channel, Manny DX something. This is what it looks like. I found this at a Goodwill for $2, sold in a week for $23.99 plus shipping. Mikasa is a really good Bolo brand, only two sold, but I took these, those odd and it sold. Took those, it's a typo, I think, off maybe and it sold. Open box. Uh, it's a wine bottle stopper, female nude torso. All right, cheating a little as this sold in March. Uh, let's see. This is a single earring. It came, came out of a craft jewelry lot that I won from Donatella Bottolino in a giveaway. It would have gone in a silver scrap pile, except I saw that someone else had recently sold two mismatched single earrings from this brand. So I listed it at $14.99. I took a best offer of $12.49 plus shipping, which is a lot higher than melt value would have been for this tiny piece. A small sale, but maybe unexpected for someone whose instinct would have been to not look twice at a single earring. So it's a little turtle. How cute is that? What a great idea. So somebody's probably going to craft with this. And because it's sterling, you know, that makes it more desirable. And she said this came out of a craft jewelry lot that she won from Donatella Bottolino. And she does have an unboxing of this over on her channel. It's a Susie Q's never ending jewelry party, I think is what it's called. You can check her out here. I won it for $10 on an online high bid auction in February. I listed it for $100. The buyer and I went back and forth on offers and I finally accepted her $70 offer on April 12th. It took two months to sell and I only had it listed on Poshmark. So uh, Sharif, S-H-A-R-I-F, I may be saying that wrong, designer European leather textured croc snake skin patchwork crossbody, sold it for $70. Check that out. Got this for a dollar last summer at a yard sale, didn't think much of it, and almost put it in a reseller lot, but decided to check it out a bit more. Glad I did. 
Mr. Christmas Animated Musical Pocket Watch Clock Musical Horse Sleigh and Music Box. Yes, Mr. Christmas. Always look up Mr. Christmas. A lot of the items are bolos. And um, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger has a video where she parted out a Mr. Christmas item. So definitely go over and check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite bolo. Be sure to go over and join my Facebook group here. And under the um, announcements slash featured section, you will see a um, post that will say share your bolo. It'll kind of be a screenshot like the one this month. And um, I don't know, share a bolo. You will not be mentioned in the video unless you're a member. So it's completely anonymous, just your bolo shown unless you um, sign up for memberships. All right, you guys, thanks again for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up down here. Subscribe. If you're new here, check out another video. Thank you so much. Um, my channel is mainly about bolo items. So if you want to learn about things you should be selling on eBay and other platforms, this is the channel for you. And check out the comments for um, other things that I use to help me with my business. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.